It's tough out there for businesses and customers alike. That's the word from Tesco this morning as it produced its first half numbers. The supermarket group led by Ken Murphy was talking about the environment in which it's uh, trading at the moment. Adjusted operating profit was down 10 percent to one and a quarter billion pounds at constant rates. Uh, for the UK and the Republic of Ireland, adjusted operating profit was down 11 point. So you can see the weakness feeding through here uh, in both uh, profits and revenues. Um, but the UK like for like sales, interestingly, was up and it was better than expected. It was only a small rise of 0.7%. Bloomberg had estimates of just a fractional uh, decline for this period. But the company warned that as a result of significant inflation pressures and consumer caution, annual profits would likely be at the lower end of its earlier guidance. Let's take a look at the share price chart, because I think this really says it all. And we've seen this dip recently where we have actually dipped below the low we had established back on the 28th, 27th of October in 2020. And you can see now, in fact, in the last few days, we've traded at levels not seen since January 2019. But in terms of what's going on today, Initially, we see that we saw the stock up at a one week high, I guess, on the back of what appeared initially to be some relatively good numbers coming through on the revenue figures here in the UK. But when you weave in the rest of the picture and the caution that the company has um, exercised uh, on its outlook, the earlier guidance between 2.4 billion and 2.5 billion pounds uh, for the overall annual profits, the company is now guiding at the lower end of that range. It has paid a 20% increase dividend of 3.85 pence, which was good as well. But I think overall, the outlook here for Tesco is somewhat weaker. And I think that's one of the reasons of why that after two hours of trade this morning, the stock is down 2%, which is where we're sitting. But I think this line here at 202 or two pounds a share is going to be key. If you get a break of that, I think that could well open the trap door for new lower lows. At the moment, at least Tesco is holding up, but it does paint a bit of a bleak picture for both businesses and consumers. For more videos from us here at IGTV, join us on Twitter at IGCom, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.